Welcome to the online training, Water Well Maintenance, How You Can Protect Your Water Quality. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. Make sure to take the quiz after you finish to see what you've learned. A properly constructed and maintained water well can provide a good supply of drinking water, but a poorly built or maintained water well can jeopardize water quality. The National Groundwater Association recommends routine water well maintenance to protect the water quality, help ensure the well system is operating properly, and to prolong the useful life of the well system. A good place to start with routine well maintenance is to get a water well inspection. A qualified water well system professional can tell you if it is time for a water well inspection. Well inspection should only be done by a licensed water well system professional. To determine whether an individual is licensed, go to www.wellowner.org and click on Finding a Contractor then on licensing. Following are key components of a water well inspection. The first step is a visual inspection of the wellhead. The wellhead is the part of the well system above the surface of the ground over the well. The wellhead consists of the well casing, which is the vertical pipe protruding from the ground, and the well cap, which is the cap on top of the well casing. The wellhead also includes the area above the ground in close proximity to the well casing. A visual inspection of the wellhead should verify 1. that it is in a safe location in relation to sources of potential contamination, flooding, and physical dangers. 2. that the well cap and seals are in good condition. 3. that the well casing is the proper height and in good condition, and four, that the ground directly surrounding the wellhead is sloping away to divert surface runoff. Finally, a visual inspection of the wellhead should look for any other potential threats to the wellhead. The second element of a water well system inspection is a visual inspection of the condition of the system's components. Such an inspection should include 1. Any above ground pumping equipment and 2. Any other above ground well system wiring and parts such as connections, joint seals, gauges, pressure relief valves, or a water meter if there is one. The third element of a water well system inspection is a physical inspection of the system's components such an inspection should include testing the pump, checking the valves, and conducting electrical testing. The fourth element of a water well system inspection is a visual inspection of other equipment. Such an inspection should include pressure tanks, above and below ground storage tanks, booster pumps, liquid level control devices, the control box and connections, water heaters, water softeners and conditioners, and filtration equipment. Here's a review question. The wellhead includes A, the well casing, which is the vertical pipe protruding from the ground, B, the well cap, which is the cap on top of the casing, C, the area above the ground in close proximity to the well casing, D, the well cap only, and E, A through C. The answer is E. The well head includes the well casing, the well cap, and the area above the ground in close proximity to the well casing. Here's another question. A visual inspection of the wellhead should verify A. 
that the wellhead is in a safe location in relation to sources of potential contamination, flooding, and physical dangers. B, the well cap and seals are in good condition. C, the well casing is the proper height and in good condition. D, the ground directly surrounding the wellhead is sloping away to divert surface runoff. E, the integrity of the well cap and well casing only. And F, A through D. The answer is F, A through D. A visual inspection of the wellhead should verify the wellhead is in a safe location, the integrity of the well cap and the well casing, and the ground directly surrounding the wellhead is sloping away to divert surface runoff. The fifth and final element of a water well system inspection is the completion of an inspection report by the water well system professional conducting the inspection. The written report should detail the inspection findings and include relevant photos or video records. In addition to maintenance indicated by a water well system inspection, other indicators that well maintenance might be needed are 1. Turbidity, which is cloudiness of water caused by the presence of suspended matter. 2. A loss of capacity, which is the gallons per minute of water the pump can supply to the water system. 3. Taste or odor problems. And 4. A bacteriological test that is positive for total coliform. These signs could indicate that the well system needs to be cleaned. Well cleaning is not shock chlorination or disinfection. Well disinfection is the process of destroying microorganisms, particularly harmful ones. Chlorination might temporarily prevent taste or odor problems or gas production, but it leaves behind debris that can serve as a food source for bacteria. Instead, well cleaning is 1. Removal of the pump with complete removal of debris from the well bottom. 2. Brushing and cleaning the well casing in the intake zones or the places where water enters the well using a mechanical process, a chemical process, or a combination of the two. 3. Cleaning and flushing the gravel pack, which is a gravel or other permeable filter around the well intake to prevent the movement of fine material into the well. And 4. Flushing the geologic formation surrounding the well. Disinfection is the last step in properly cleaning the well. Well cleaning should be done by a qualified water well system professional only. For your own safety and for the protection of your well system and water quality, never service your own well. Question. Signs that a well may need cleaning include A. Turbidity, which is a cloudiness of water caused by the presence of suspended matter. B. Taste or odor problems. C bacteriological test that is positive for total coliform. D, a loss of capacity, which is the gallons per minute of water the pump can supply to the water system. E, A through C, or F, all of the above. The answer is F, all of the above. Turbidity, taste or odor problems, or a loss of capacity all could indicate the water well system may need cleaning. Here's a final review question. Shock chlorination is the single most effective way to clean a well system. True or false? The answer is false. Shock chlorination is only one aspect of cleaning a well system. Chlorination might temporarily prevent taste or odor problems or gas production, but it leaves behind debris that can serve as a food source for bacteria. To learn more about how to approach treating your water, visit www.wellowner.org and take our online lesson, Treating Your Water. 
contaminants that present a health risk or other problems. Go to www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful private well owner information tools including the Private Well Owner Hotline at 855-420-9355, the Private Well Owner Tip Sheet, a monthly email of helpful water well tips available through wellowner.org, more online well owner lessons, and upcoming free well owner webinars. For more information on water treatment technologies, visit the National Sanitation Foundation's website at www.nsf.org. NSF is an independent product certification lab that tests and certifies home water treatment systems. You also can visit the Water Quality Association at www.wqa.org. The Water Quality Association has an independent product certification lab that tests and certifies home water treatment systems. Don't forget, check wellowner.org for other online lessons in the near future if you have questions such as, how do I get water treatment? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? What should I know about getting water testing near hydraulic fracturing? Or what should I know about getting a new well?